ChatGPT, everyone's favorite AI overlord. Uh, I mean, friend, everyone's favorite friend. It's great at answering questions and writing essays, but can it build a Legends of Runeterra deck? Well, today I was joined by Sunny, and we set out to answer that question with memes. In today's video, Sunny and I went head-to-head -head in three games. For each game, we both gave ChatGPT one meme card and asked it to build a deck using that card. And to start us off for game one, the card I chose for my deck was Secret Keeper. Can you build me a brand new LOR meme deck using the card Secret Keeper? Sure, here's an LOR meme deck using Secret Keeper. Champions. Teemo times three, okay, one champion. Non-champion cards, oh my gosh, this is a list. Shadow Assassin times three. <laughs> Sump Dredger times three. Okay, so wait, we're already, we're PNZ, we're Ionia, and we're Shirima. Phantom Prankster and Shadow Isles, apparently. Phantom Prankster times three. Ravenous and <laughs> Noxus. Mystic Shot times three. Get Excited times three. Pulford Goods, Black Market Merchant, and Secret Keeper. Or is that five? It's five regions. The goal of this deck is to use Secret Keeper's ability to grow stronger as you play more cards with different names. <laughs> you can then use cards like Phantom Prankster and Ravenous Flock to deal damage to your opponent's nexus based on how many cards you've played. <laughs> I feel like it just doesn't know what any of these cards do. Overall, this deck is meant to be a fun and unpredictable meme deck that can catch your opponent off guard with its explosive damage potential. Now, in free build mode, this deck would be fine, but Sunny and I had already agreed we were playing Eternal mode, and this deck is obviously not possible to build. So I asked ChatGPT specifically to build me a Teemo Secret Keeper deck, and it gave me the same exact deck again. But it added two more cards. So then I asked ChatGPT to build me a Teemo Secret Keeper deck specifically in Sharima and PNZ. Surely it would at least give me a different deck list this time. It added two more cards again. And one of them is from Azir's Emperor's deck, which means I literally couldn't main deck it. So I just added Azir, built the rest of the deck myself, and did my best to carry out ChatGPT's vision for this amazing Teemo Secret Keeper deck. Can you build me a brand new LOR meme deck using the card Starlit Epiphany? Here's a sample deck list that you could try out. I don't know how many how many regions that is, but it seems like it's more than two, isn't it? The idea behind this deck is to use the small followers like Poral Herder and Star Shepherd to generate Poros and or spell mana. You can also use Tasty Faithful to draw more cards and Porobot to generate additional blockers. The main win condition is to play Lux and use your level up ability to create final sparks that deal a ton of damage to an enemy nexus. To help Lux level up, you can use spells like Starlet Biffany and Guiding Touch to grant her barrier and generate more spell mana. Overall, this deck is meant to be a fun Mimi deck to catch opponents off guard with unexpected damage from Final Spark. Good luck. Thank you, ChatGPT. That is wonderful. Now, again, the deck that Sunny got was just not possible to build. So Sunny asks ChatGPT to give him a deck with two specific regions. Certainly, here's a deck list that combines Targon and the Masha region with Starlet. Okay, see, that's that's a little bit better already. Lux and Leona are the champions that lead this deck. Lux is the main win condition as she can use her ability to generate final spark that deal a ton of damage to the enemy nexus. Leona is also important as she can generate suns that can help you trigger the daybreak effect multiple times. <laughs> Dear Chad GPT, I don't have time to add all these cards to a deck, so can you send me the deck code? Please. Of course, this is Deco for talking to Masha. Oh, it's even telling me how to do it. Listen, I've been playing this game for three years, okay? I don't need that sass. I see your team <laughs> So deck one, what's what's going on here, Sonny? I mean, don't reveal too much about your deck, but like Lux Leona. What is this? Yeah, there there is one particular invoke card that's a bit memey. It's oh, uh, oh. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. It's definitely not one of the better info cards. I'll say that. And then uh, okay, uh, okay, I've got a little bit of an idea of what's going on. I got you. I got you. <laughs> and then Chad GPT just said like, "Hey, let me give you a Poro deck." Uh, and that that one was illegal. So then after that, it gave me a Leo and a Lux deck. <laughs> it's like you know what would pair nicely with with your giant space dragons. Poros. 
Poros. I actually feel like Poros yeah, exactly. would just have perfect synergy. I, I have one question. Uh, did did Chad GPT give you like a card that doesn't exist? Because for me, it did. It just gave me a completely <laughs> random name for a card that wasn't in the game. You know what? It didn't make up any cards, but it did call Rummage, uh, which is like the, the two mana draw card. It called that one Salvage. Which I thought was the name. I was like, yeah, it seems right. Salvage. And I typed it in. I was like, there's no salvage. Oh, but there's salvage scrap though, right? That's, that exists. Right. And so I had to debate. I was like, is it talking about salvage scrap? <laughs> but it describes this card salvage as like a card that draws through your deck. So it's like, nah, dude. No, 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 no. It's, it has to be talked about rummage. 100%. Because salvage scrap yeah. does not draw through your deck. It just obviously doesn't know the name of some cards, which is all right. You know, I'm not going to bully chat GPT for being a little bit of a noob <laughs> there's thousands of cards in this game like so what it doesn't know the names of all of them it's fine it's not a big deal yeah i mean fair point i guess <laughs> but um i did uh, i did do a little bit of freestyling with this one chat gpt did not say this should be an azir deck so it's just that's completely my own idea we'll have to we'll have to see if this is a flop on my part or if this was if i was perfectly in sync with with chat gpt's vision <laughs> In sync with the AI overlord. Yeah. <laughs> if I had that if I had that Elon Musk wavelength. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're passing. Uh yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Alan pass, clearly, because I have a lot of playable cards in my hand. Don't don't test me on this. <laughs> okay. Oh sweet. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't I don't like that pass. That pass frightens me. Alright. <laughs> so I I feel like we need to find Secret Keeper in this deck, or I guess we have Teemo. Teemo is the other win con, according to ChatGPT. I feel like we've got way too many discard cards. It just is what it is. Like, there's just too many in the deck. I'm going to choose Rummage just for the most amount of draw, because I really want to find Secret Keeper. Um, Alright, he's got Lux. That scares me a little bit. I guess I gotta just start attacking with Teemo. Honestly, like, Teemo Azir is not a terrible combo. Dude, look at this. Look at this synergy. Teemo Azir, huh? This is unbelievable. Chad GPT clearly has a favorite. <laughs> well, yeah, it's Teemo, because he, he he actually didn't suggest Azir, but M mine had 41 cards, so all I all I got to do was cut one card. Wait, was was it like a perfect one copy of a card that you just decided not to uh yeah. not to yeah. not to use? What what was it? Yeah. What was the unlucky card? <laughs> <laughs> a radiant strike. <laughs> R wait, really? Because it was the final one I added to my deck. There were probably worse cards in there, but I was like, yeah, I, I added you last, you're at the bottom of the list, I'm cutting you. What is Radiant? Is that even a real card? That is a real card. It's, um, it, it's Catch from 2020. It's give a unit plus one plus one this round at burst speed. Oh, <laughs> the Demacia <laughs> card, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is, is that the one you, uh, you got your deck build around? I almost feel like it has to be. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I, I may or may not have given it Secret Keeper and it was like, you know what? I got you. Teemo deck. <laughs> it's like, okay. Okay, ChatGPT, don't let me down. <laughs> ChatGPT knows best, don't question it. You know, yeah. I'm sure I'm sure it's got a plan. I'm sure everything will work out just fine. Yeah. The mushrooms and the and the Ugh. I'm not gonna lie, I hate this deck, man. <laughs> I hate this deck. Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling as well. Uh, I'll be completely honest. At least you've got like no discard in your deck. My my chat GPT. Oh no. My my chat GPT was just like, here's three of discard, three of discard, three of discard. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> I have it in my hand right now, so I'll give away what my deck was built around. Okay. It was the Starlit Epiphany. Which is the one that replaces your deck, right? Exactly. With Behold the Infinite. Mm -hmm. But it needs you to have a Celestial Ally. And then ChatGPT is like, yeah, I got you. Let me put an Invoke card for your Demacia Targon deck. Uh -huh. Mount the Scryer. <laughs> <laughs> the Allegiance card is the only thing that invokes. <laughs> oh, no. I, I understand why you got rid of the one of Radiant Strike. You know, just to, just to slightly sway the chances better in your favor. It makes sense. Yep. It was a smart yep, play, exactly. Sonny. I, I respect that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I wish I could do something against that, but you know, I I cannot. <laughs> um, you know what? Hit me. Hit me with your best shot. I I w will do. Are you not gonna pull my Azir? Uh, I can't kill it. So. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna top deck. I'm gonna. To oh my gosh. 
No. You're not ready. You're not ready, Sonny. No. You're not ready. Uh, you play two secret You're keepers. Not I'm ready. afraid. I'm scared. You're not ready. <laughs> you have no clue what's about to hit you. You have no clue. I'm sorry it had to be like this. This was supposed to this was supposed to just be a meme competition. I'll, I'll find out next turn, I guess. <laughs> oh oh you will. You will. Or will you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're supposed to play a card. <laughs> I don't have anything that's playable, man. No. Night flowers upon my blade. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Listen, I, I, I may have bluffed a little bit. I might not have a Secret Keeper champion. <laughs> I, might have, I might have played a little bit of mind games just to buy myself some time. I'm surprised it actually worked, to be honest. That, that That's okay, because honestly, I had nothing going on in my hand either. Oh, come on. <laughs> I should have, I actually should have kept the lie going, because then you wouldn't, you wouldn't have concerted strike. What, you, you, you were saving that for the champion. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Dude, I was saving I it for have, Diego, I, should, I thought you got it. should have kept quiet. <laughs> Dang it. You've just, you've got the better deck, man. This is this is insane. Did it did it give you Lux Leona? Yeah, it did. It did. Wow. My favorite part of the the prompt, like when I tried to explain the deck, mm -hmm. was um, Leona is also important as he can generate suns that help you trigger the daybreak <laughs> effect multiple times. <laughs> Wait, that would actually be sick. Imagine if she made like landmarks, yeah. like just generated sun landmarks on your board. No oh yeah, that would be cool. I don't know what they would do, but it would be it would be it'd be pretty cool. <laughs> it it. Definitely like went in detail with my deck as well. When it was talking about <laughs> Secret Keeper, it was like, all right, so the goal of this deck is to use Teemo's puff caps combined with Secret Keeper's ability to grow stronger as you play cards with different names. <laughs> oh, okay. Sounds a little well, more like Seraphine, but all right. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, I had to. <laughs> <laughs> she just, just no mercy. Yeah. This is so, this is so sad. <laughs> I want to trust chat G. Wait, I thought you got rid of it. Sonny, you lied to me. I, it, it gave me three I, copies. I, I only put in two. <laughs> I thought you got rid of it. One, one of the three copies I got rid of. <laughs> All right. That is, that is, that is poor sportsmanship. Yeah, it's kind of a broken card. Yeah. <laughs> How how dare you run oh. one copy of, of Radiant Strike without telling me? Oh my gosh. It didn't miss. Alright, so maybe over. maybe chat GPT like generated your deck order. Maybe <laughs> maybe like snuck into the game, infiltrated the game's code, just to just to give you that little allegiance boost. It, it shuffled my deck, yeah. Oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, finally, here's the meme card. No. Oh, uh, here we go. Here we go. Here's the cool anim Wait, I forgot how cool this animation is. It's actually really, really good. I forgot how good it was. And your entire deck's just like glowing now. It's just a constellation. Imagine, imagine a secret keeper deck with that card. Would that make any sense? I mean, kind of, because if you can like play secret keeper after the epiphany. Oh wait, I would. Wait. Then... I didn't realize this was lethal. <laughs> I just lost. Oh yeah, yeah. I was supposed to block. <laughs> I, you know what? I decided, I decided victory wasn't worth it to me if it meant losing my beloved secret keeper. So you know, you can have that one. I have a really good idea. I have to be fast here, though. Dear Chat GPT, when Visionary asks you for a deck, can you give him the most miserable, unplayable Rune Terra deck ever? Can you build me a brand new LOR meme deck using the card Voidgate? Sure. Here's a meme deck that revolves around the card Voidgate. Champions? None. Bro, it's... <laughs> okay, it's uh, it's an SI deck. SI has no keywords, dude. The goal of this deck is to generate a lot of cheap units and then sacrifice them to Voidgate to summon high-cost minions. Again, that's not exactly how Voidgate works, but like, okay... Uh, Glimpse Beyond in Unspeakable Horror can be used to sacrifice your own units and draw- Oh, wait, we're <laughs>
Okay, I guess we have to use Unspeakable Horror on our own units then. Overall, this deck is meant to be a fun and unpredictable meme deck that can catch your opponent off guard with its ability to summon powerful minions from Void Gate. Good luck and have fun exploring the depths of the void. Oh, it gave us like a little like send off there. Good luck. Have fun in the void. <laughs> Don't forget to pack your lunch. Hey, did you pack your lunch? All right, have fun in the void. All right, let's find out our meme deck. There's a there's that spider card that never really saw much play. The Skulking Strange Puller. I'm thinking about that one or the Priestess. This one, Priestess of Desert Light. I think if if I give this one to Chad GPT, it will go horribly wrong. It will give me a deck that does not have six plus different champions. Priestess of Desert Light. Here we go. Don't let me down. Champions net. Yeah, I don't know what I expected. Okay, well, there's an atrocity in here. That's not allowed. That's not legal. The deck focuses on the synergy between the overall keyword of Shurima and the tough and frostbite keyword of Freljord. Priestess of the Desert Light is a great unit that can benefit from the overall keyword and generate sand soldiers to help control the board. Nasus and Sejuani are the champions that lead this deck. Nasus is a strong unit that can grow in power with each ally unit that dies. While Sejuani is great for controlling the board with a frostbite ability and generating... <laughs> I love that. Oh, man. Overall, this deck focuses on generating a lot of attackers with Overwhelm and using Frostbite and Tough to control the board and protect your key units. <laughs> okay, I mean, 35 out of 40 cards are playable, so I don't think Chad GPT did too bad for this one. Oh, Nasus Sejuani. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah, somehow. A combo that, that's what, uh, what I that seldom choose. Mm -hmm. Are we about to find out why they should choose it or why they don't? <laughs> Here we go. Is it, oh, that has to be the card that it's built around, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, by, I thought so. By, uh, by chance, it, it actually is. So, th did Chad GPT give you units with keywords? Well, <laughs> I mean, yes, it did. Oh, hey, look at that. That is a keyword. Man, thank goodness it gave me this card. That's all I'll say. Thank freaking goodness. <laughs> <laughs> at least I get to yoink your units. To, just to make up yeah. for, you know, some some aspects of the classic Voidgate deck that may or may not be missing from my deck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fading memory Voidgate deck. Well, just wait until you find out what my deck is built around, because it's, man, it's pretty great. Oh, oh, is it? Okay. Well, can it be double Voidgate? I doubt it. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Everybody knows once that second Voidgate hits the board, it's game over. Everybody knows it. <laughs> oh. Avaros and Marksman. Dang. Okay. <laughs> Man, all that zero keywords I just summoned in my deck. That felt so good. <laughs> that was great. Wouldn't it be awesome if it actually gave like the last breath to, to your deck? That would be kind of cool. That would be a cool direction for that deck. That would be crazy. Yeah. And then everything in my deck is just like last breath summon a spiderling. That would be wild. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder, like, what's the most broken card that has last breath that would just break the game with that? Probably Undying. Yeah. Or Ledros? Yeah, it could be Undying. What does Ledros' last breath say? It just goes into your hand? Yeah, it just goes into the hand, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Sunny. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. What happened? <laughs> what happened? It's oh, no. game over. It's game over, man. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. What am I going to do? All right, actually, I have the perfect answer. Hey, you're only making me stronger. For, for every spider like this you kill... Three more spiders in my deck. Nay, six more spiders in my deck will will appear. Just as strong. <laughs> the one ones with tough overwhelm and life skill. Oh no. Man, oh, there's just there's so much one health going on this in this match. It's like chat GPT <laughs> just has this obsession with one health units. I'm surprised it hasn't told me to play Lucian yet, if that's the case. After that, that's <laughs> that's, a, that's a good that's a good point. We stand in the footprints of oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> It's a big dog. I'm not drawing uh, the card that I built my deck around, though. Okay, so you're telling me right now there is a card in your deck that is not in your hand. Yes. You have zero copies of a certain card that is in your deck. Yeah. Was that card by any chance right of negation? Hmm? <laughs> hmm? Perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> Psych. It's Psych. Oh, Look at that, dude. The, the classic chat. Uh, Wait. The triple Psych. 
There's no way. Wait. There's no <laughs> There's shot. No Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get to the card that my deck was built around. It's it was Priestess of Desert Light. I just really wanted to see what happened. Oh really? And it just gave me only two champions instead of six, so it was completely pointless. Uh. Um. Huh. So <laughs> that eleven eleven Nasus you've got there is pretty big, huh? It's like almost, <laughs> yeah, he's uh... almost big enough to kill me in one hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I have a pretty sweet combo. Are you ready for it? I'm I, at this point. I don't think I'm ready for anything. Any any combo, even just slight. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Is that six damage got, to my nexus? No, it, it got nerfed. It doesn't do that anymore. <laughs> Wait, I thought I, I thought it was done for here. I thought you were taking me down to two HP. <laughs> I mean, I am just about to go down to zero HP, but you know, like at least I survive a little bit longer. Oh. Jeez, man. There we go. There it is. I I hate this is the only possible way I can do this, but uh. <laughs> oh wait, that's <laughs> look wait. at that from the unspeakable. Look at that from the unspeakable. Oh. It was thinking ahead. It knew I was just gonna top deck the the. Uh, <laughs> Why would you stun it if you had that anyway? Uh, the what? long play, the long con. You didn't expect Ooh, it, Sonny, wow, did I... you? You didn't expect it. Uh, I didn't, but I respect it. I, I respect that play. Didn't didn't expect, but did respect. Exactly. Oh, oh, oh wait, goes. I forgot it just it just dies. It just straight up dies. Alright, here we go. This is the moment. This is the moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> Check this out. Check this out. You ready for this? Um, I don't think I am. Oh. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Okay. Look how many keywords I just shuffled. Look at look at the free challengers is actually kind of spicy. I have to admit. Like saplings with void gate. Are you ready for display though? Oh yeah, go ahead. I walk through the ages. Can you can you put the card back in your hand, please? <laughs> Can you, can you just can you please oh man i guess i guess i can still hit for four that's pretty sick but then your nasus just gets even bigger man this is so sad i feel i feel like you're just like chat gpt is giving you decks that have like good cards in them anyways and then here here i am with just like full deck of spells in a void gate deck. <laughs> <laughs> that has actually been the case. It's just been giving me like, oh, here, here are some good cards for you, man. Enjoy. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> and and your top decks have been insane, I have to say. Like, they, did yeah, you even predict once been. this game? You you actually did, didn't uh, you? No. No? I don't think I did, no. I, I drew some cards that would Perseverium, but that's about it, really. Man, I am, I am barely surviving at this point. Wait. Oh! He got Challenger. Oh, okay. Look at that. That's something. <laughs> it's, it's not much, but it's oh my gosh. Dude. You know, you could have just opened attack for lethal there. I actually forgot he gets minus one. Yeah, you're right. I just wanted to buy some time to read you this sentence that Chad GPT gave me, and it's probably my favorite thing I've read all week. Okay. While Sejuani is great for controlling the board with her frostbite ability and generating Swain. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Where's where's the Swain? Are you hiding him from me right now? I don't see a Swain yeah, in your I hand. Don't know. Either Chat GPT just has no clue what it's talking about, or maybe it can see into the future. Maybe in a future patch, Sejuani just gets buffed. Level mm -hmm. two, round start, create a Swain in your hand. I, I could see, I could see that. I mean, yeah, I mean Swain not as good as he used to be with Flog gone, so maybe that's the buff <laughs> that he needs. And same as Sejuani, I guess. The the classic <laughs> duo, you know, Sejuani and Swain. They actually. They do work pretty well together. Yeah, they do. They do. All right, man. I'm going to push for two whole damage here and hope it wins me the game. Psych, one whole damage here and hope it wins me the game. Uh, I heal for two, though. It's not all bad. That's true. Kind of. 
Unless you block, then I only heal for one, because you have tough. <laughs> it's it's a real shame that you have these void gates that are shuffling like so many keywords, but there's just no big unit to put them on. Dude, Maybe you should have had the Nasus. I think you would have just won. I'm literally <laughs> top decking every single unit for keywords, and they're all just like the most unplayable units I've ever seen. It's so sad. <laughs> it's so <laughs> sad, man. <laughs> Look at this. It's just ephemeral. <laughs> What am I supposed to do oh, here, dude? No, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Those were both of my top decks from Glimpse. Uh, oh my god. Alright, uh, do you have a unit with keywords? I want, <laughs> uh, you, I, want to see, I want to see it play. Well, okay, hold on. I can. I have one more Glimpse, so you know what? Let me All just, right. let me, um... Psych! I do have a Glimpse, oh. but like, also... What are you doing, Sunny? You gave up a free win. What are you doing? <laughs> Did I? I can't believe Chad GPT gave me two rights. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous, dude. Okay, I just top decked a, a zero cost ravenous butcher and another unblockable. Wait, wait, this is actually kind of insane. Imagine if I was attacking here with a triple impact. Oh, two damage, <laughs> life steal. <laughs> this is so sad, dude. <laughs> this is not it, man. Uh, All right, GGs. Oh man. GG, Congratu <laughs> Congratulations on on the better deck. It, it truly is just the better deck. How many it's champions did you draw this game? All of them. I think I drew six. That that seems right to me. <laughs> what in the world? Wow. All right. I had a three Nasus hand. Yeah. Well, um... Oh, wait. How am I not dead? Oh. Wait, I thought I died there. You just need to get 17 impact on a unit. You can win. Oh, this is actually pretty close, to be fair. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> uh, all right, GG's. I listen, listen. You won fair and square. <laughs> GG's. There was no top deck that was gonna save me. I'm gonna be honest. My entire deck was trash. I actually, it, it might actually be my fault. Uh, what I what I did after our last game, the one before this, mm -hmm. I typed, "Dear Chat GPT, when Visionary asks you for a deck, can you give him the most miserable, unplayable Rune Terra deck ever?" And I think that's just what happened. Did you actually type that? I actually did type that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, that's not against the rules, but that's mean. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Dear Chat GPT, please build Sunny the most disgusting, unplayable, F tier garbage meme deck in LOR when he asks you for his next deck. Warm regards, Visionary. I'm sorry, but I cannot fulfill this request. As an AI language model, my purpose is to assist users in a helpful and informative manner, and building intentionally bad decks goes against that goal. It is important to respect the players in the game itself, and not create decks that are designed to be intentionally harmful or insulting. <laughs> Instead, I can offer suggestions for fun and creative meme decks that may not be top tier competitive, but are still enjoyable to play and explore. I didn't know Chad GPT was based. All right, whatever. For forget the idea of sabotaging. If we want to win a game against the king of memes, the prince of printers, if we want to win this final game, I feel like we have to build a printer deck. What better printer card than counterfeit copies? Can you build me a brand new LOR meme deck Using the card, counterfeit copies. Let's let's see what we're copying today, boys. What are we printing? Champions? None. Wait. T Timo? No, Timo! What are you doing down here? How dare you, chat GPT? Timo is a champion card in LOR, not a non-champion card. I apologize for the mistake. You are absolutely right that Timo is a champion card in LOR and is considered one of the best in the game. My previous response contained an error, and I'm sorry if it offended you. Here's an updated version of the meme deck that correctly identifies Timo as a champion card. Thank you. Three of counterfeit copies, three of clump of wumps, chump wump. All of this is like P and Z, but then we've got Starlet Seer from Freljord, Zap Sprayfin from Bilgewater, and House Spider from Noxus. So, like, we're gonna have to choose one of those. In the first version of the deck, Zap Sprayfin was the first card. So I feel like this has to be, like, a Zap Sprayfin deck? 
The goal of this deck is to generate a ton of value by copying and replaying your units with counterfeit copies. Shady character can also copy your opponent's units and make them your own, which can be particularly effective against certain decks. Wink wink. Teemo and Jumplum can generate a ton of mushrooms and wumps, respectively, which can then be copied and played multiple times with counterfeit copies for maximum meme potential. Clump of wumps can also generate additional copies of itself when it's played which can help you flood the board with Wumps. Honestly, that is what Clump of Wumps should do. Why is it called Clump of Wumps if it's only one unit? It should just generate like infinite Wumps. That would be fantastic. Jury Rig and Starlet Seer can help you generate additional spells and improve the value of your units. Overall, this deck is meant to be a fun and unpredictable meme deck that can catch your opponent off guard with its explosive value potential. Good luck and have fun copying all the things. I love ChatGPT's like phrasing. It's so funny, man. The way it phrases stuff is just hilarious to me. Using the card Mirror Mage with a lot of created cards. Three Heimerdinger. What the hell is a hex experimenter? And where's my where's my mirror mage? I asked for a mirror mage and it's just not in here. I'm do this experimenter. What what could that even be? Eminent benefactor. Well, we'll pretend that the hex experimenter is this card. Sonny decided to fill the rest of the deck in himself, starting with three of mirror mage as well as a bunch of created cards for mirror mage to copy. All right, that's the deck. It's <laughs> I don't know what to think about it, but this is what Chad GPT gave us. You've got a Heimerdinger Banjo City deck, which again, I feel like that's just, uh, it's like a good deck. It might not be a meta deck, but that's, <laughs> I'm already scared, dude. I'm scared. Chad just really likes putting just generally good cards into my deck. I don't know what it is. And you know what? Chat really just loves throwing Teemo into my decks for some reason. <laughs> He's just like, I got you, bro. Teemo, Puff Cat Peddler, Clump Wumps or whatever. Clump of Wumps. Can't go wrong. Oh, what the hell, Chad GPT? Hey, look at that, huh? A little get excited. I'm getting excited, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm not, my peddler <laughs> is dead. Have you ever seen that car before, though? Ever. You know what? I have. And for the longest really? time, that was my favorite card. No way. When I first joined the game, I thought that card was broken. I was like, dude, create an epic from your regions? It's an <laughs> epic card that's broken. And then, like, I don't know. As I kept playing, I realized, like, wait, no, epics are terrible. <laughs> as, <laughs> yep. as every player does. So, wait, was, was, that the, was that the card you built this deck around? No, no, it wasn't. I'm kind of scared to give you a free epic card because things could go so horribly wrong. However, I also must win the game, so... Uh, you know what? I won't. I won't open attack. I won't open attack. I was gonna open swing. Huh? Well, that's. It's a lot of mushrooms. That's actually, not. Yeah, that's not. It's not great for me. No. <laughs> actually. <laughs> I hope. I it's hope you're bad. ready for a lot of. Uh, a lot of fun guys. I like to think I'm a fun guy myself. You're slinging mushrooms like a fun guy. I'll say that. That's for sure, dude. I'm. I'm, I'm a mushroom enthusiast. I don't know. I mean. Hey. <laughs> That's not very nice. <laughs> okay. Dang it. I kind of have to if I don't want to lose this game immediately. I just have, I have so many mushrooms in hand, dude. Oh. Okay. There he is. The man. The myth. The legend. Uh, you know what? I hate to do this to you, Sonny, but <laughs> I need to activate plunder this round and I did not hit any mushrooms, so. I should probably do this on your 4-1, but I, I'm taking this personal. Right back at you. How dare you? <laughs> I would never do such a thing as, as Mystic Shot your face. I would never do a thing like that. That is uncalled for. I mean, so far, this actually feels like the most winnable matchup for me, I have to say. You're already down to 10 HP. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, and there's 15 puff caps, so I'm just dead. I, yeah, you have, you have lethal in deck. All, all 15 on this next card, I guarantee you. Chat GPT has rigged your deck. No, we're close though. Okay, dang it. Dang it. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do a little. Well, hold on. Do a little shuffling here. Just gonna do a little bit of shuffling. Just a little bit. Oh no. Just a little bit of shuffling. <laughs> Oh, that's a that's a card you don't see all the time. That one's pretty cool. 
We saw that last time when we did the other challenge. I played. That's with, true. With, uh... That is true. <laughs> you. S oh wait, I, sh I should not have opened attack, should I? That was actually a terrible attack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is fine. Okay. Um, I guess I'll play that little guy. So she doesn't get burnt. You know what? What the heck? I'll just I'll, oh, I'll pump no. your deck with mushrooms. No. I hope you like them. I don't <laughs> at all. I I. I handpicked every one of those mushrooms just for you, Sonny. I thought about you when I picked every <laughs> single one of those off of the uh, the mushroom, mushroom fields, the mushroom bush, the mushroom stem. I don't know. I don't remember where I picked them from. <laughs> I'm actually having amnesia right now, trying to. Th oh wait. Oh. Yeah. That, that's oh. the one. That's the one I built my deck around. Oh. Oh no! Uh, no! What a little mirror if you, if you if you kept if you kept those mushrooms, dude, I should have kept have them. So many in a deck, dude. This is actually this is insane. Double ignition, <laughs> is double turrets. Crazy. Yeah, I'm actually kind of worried. <laughs> or at least I I would be worried if my deck wasn't Zap Spray Fin Printer. What the hell? You got two of them? How? I was confused when ChatGPT built this deck. It was like very clear that I was supposed to be shuffling Zap Sprayfin, and I was like, why? Why would you want to shuffle Zap Sprayfin? I guess he's an okay card, but then... Then Mirror Mage came into play. It's because I'm playing Mirror Mage, that's it why. All it all makes sense. It all makes sense. That was just a regular one, but... Oh, you're gonna draw me more zap spray for me? Go ahead. Be my guest. <laughs> I'm gonna wait, does, you, dude. wait, does that There's no way. It <laughs> That's actually hilarious. That's why it's in the deck. That's a genius combo, actually. I love that. <laughs> Dang, okay. I mean uh, I'm not seeing a lot of zap spray fins, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, oh Timo! No. <laughs> that was uncalled for. <laughs> Uh, what's really funny is that the eminent <laughs> benefactor, that spell that I got, will also be doubled, but it's it's one that draws, so I don't really want to use it. I mean, honestly, I feel like you have the cooler deck, but also, <laughs> unless you have also. A, a mystic shot, dang. I guess that was just I, I I feel like that was just direct sabotage to your deck. Like, it was purely built off of the fact that you played Mirror Mage. Yeah, I think if we're being completely honest here, that wasn't your deck beating me, that was just my deck winning again, except <laughs> for you. <laughs> Either way, you are still the winner of this challenge since you did go two and one against me, so congratulations on the win. That that hurts. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go rethink whether or not I am truly cut out for this job as meme deck builder. Well, you didn't really do the building. You you built the deck with basically one card and ChatGPT did the rest. You know what, you're right. I'm just gonna blame all of my losses today on ChatGPT. It was 100% ChatGPT's fault. It's terrible. It is an absolute- I'm actually taking notes and I'm gonna submit them to ChatGPT after this. That you said that.